Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another unboxing video. The series where I obviously unbox my various streetwear, sneaker and sometimes even jewellery purchases on the channel. In tonight's video, I'm going to be unboxing the Undercover by June Takahashi Fall Winter 2020 Kimono Hoodie that I picked up from Select Frame. Frame select frame i honestly don't know what the boutique's called <laughs> but it is a boutique in dubai now just think about that a japanese label made in japan piece has then been stocked in dubai and then bought by an australian guy <laughs> it has been all around the world but it's finally here guys so yes i have picked up my second piece from undercovers fall winter 2020 collection and it is a hoodie uh, more specifically it is called the kimono hoodie uh this piece featured in the runway for the fall winter 2020 season uh it is a really unique take on the zip up hoodie done in a kimono style now this piece did come in a couple colors it came in a burgundy in a black and don't quote me on this but i think a third color which may have been a brown but I'm a bit skeptical on the third one. I think it may have just been two colors. Uh, I picked it up in a uh, burgundy in a size five. I really like this piece just because it was a unique silhouette that I've never seen before. And I thought that it, I could style it and wear it in a bunch of outfits that I have for the winter season. And I thought that it would look really nice comboed with the trench coat that I bought from the same season but from a different boutique. <laughs> uh, and yeah, in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing it and showcasing it to you guys. I've never bought from a uh, frame before, so this is my first time buying from them. So let's get in and see how they're packaging, see how the piece looks. I'm keen. Let's get into it. Man, I'm a huge fan of uh, Undercover's recent seasons, guys. I've really fallen in love with their Fall Winter uh, 2020 uh, season, and obviously their Fall Winter 2021 season. <laughs> yeah, I just really love Jun Takahashi's work, man. It's just, it's fun. There's a lot of pieces that I would just love to own and wear. They're just sick. And uh, they are a bit of a grind to get in a size 5 and a bit hard to find, but... When you do get them, it, it's just awesome being able to pick them up. So there we go. I'm slightly unboxed there. <laughs> we'll get it out of the bag here. There it is. God, it's a thick bag. Jesus, look at this. That is, whew, that is something. We'll see if there's anything else left inside of the bag. Doesn't look like it. Fair enough. We'll check the bag over there. Thank you, DHL, for shipping that bad boy. But here we go. Here is the burgundy kimono hoodie. I know, not very. it's not very much like me to actually pick up a piece like this. Normally, I'm more of a graphic-intensive kind of guy. But yeah, it was the color. It was the silhouette. It was just so unique. And I just wanted to, you know, really pick up a piece that just looked like this. It just looked really cool, really fun. That's really my justification. <laughs> anyway, let's get this plastic undone, get this tape off. Okay, so let's see. It, it looks like it, they described it as a very long fitting piece. And uh, look, it's a Japanese brand. So long fitting, maybe just normal fitting. <laughs> we'll have to see how it turns out. So as we can see on the front here, it's got a huge v neck looking opening i think that's going to look really nice with like a black mock neck or turtleneck underneath uh, i'll fold it out it is actually a lot bigger than i thought it was like i own some size fives obviously i mean i'm wearing one right now and i mean this is actually quite big so here it is here is the undercover fall winter 2020 kimono hoodie uh, I'll get the tag here so I can give you its technical name and sh kind of showcase it to you. So let's get that pin undone. Done and done. One thing I got to say, it is heavy. This hoodie is heavy. I mean, maybe it's just because it's a size 5, but like this is weighted and it feels like, yeah, cotton fleece. So it looks like for the fall winter seasons, uh, uh, at least from 2020 onwards, uh, Undercover likes to do 
uh, cotton fleece for its hoodies. Anyway, we'll get into that. Here is the tag. So as we can see, the hoodie, get ready for its awesome name or its awesome technical name. It is the UCZ4802 hoodie that comes in a burgundy. And there we go. It is a size 5, 100% cotton. There we go. It was on sale. This was the only size 5 left from frame as uh, obviously all the rest sold out or they only stocked in one. And that is the big issue with size 5s. They generally only stock one or uh, the size 5s only come in limited quantities anyway. So yeah, it's a bit of a struggle getting it, but there we go. I'll showcase the tags to you guys just in case you ever want to legit check one. So here is the tag up there. Pretty stock standard tag for undercover. Then I'll try and find the second tag, which should be on the left hand side of the hoodie, as most of the time it's chucked down there. If they've even got one. Oh, they do. Here we go. Okay. I'll try and showcase this to you the best I can. A very weighted piece. I wasn't joking around when I said it was heavy. So here is the second tag there. Undercover. There is the size 5 tag. All that good stuff there. Again, this is only uh, like relevant to anyone that wants to like legit check them or like I will really just legit check it. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, I bought it from a boutique. I'm pretty safe in saying that it is a uh, legitimate undercover piece and the cotton fleece on this kimono hoodie does feel a lot like this hoodie here. Um, yeah, wow, that color is just beautiful. Look at that. It's it's massive though. This is a huge piece. It's got Wow, okay, a button closure. There is a lot going on with this. I don't think I can really give it justice just by like showcasing it here. Tell you what, I will go chuck on a black turtleneck because that's what I was going to wear it with. And I'll try and showcase this to you guys on body to showcase how the kimono uh, hoodie from this season looks. So here I am guys, really uh, Steve Job-esque right now. <laughs> All I need is those new ballads so that I've got the whole fit going on. But I will showcase the hoodie to you. Jun Takahashi has chosen his very thick cotton fleece for this piece. Uh, so he definitely wants to keep you warm during that fall winter 2020 season. Well, just during the fall winter season. I shouldn't even specify a year. But yeah, he, he definitely had that in mind when he was making this piece. But it is amazing. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, no. No, they were right. Oh my god, this is long. I thought they were taking the piss. I thought they were like, no, nah, it's a long for like a short guy. No, this is a long hoodie. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. This is, wow. Okay, wait, I need to... Jesus, and it's really wide as well. This is completely against all the standardized sizing of Japan. It is just like, you know, you expect Japanese branding to be really, you know, old Japanese brands to be really tight, really short. No, no. June was like, screw that. I'm going to make this super long. <laughs> so I will, as you can see, the zip up element of the actual hoodie itself is only for this area over here. So I'll j Ooh. God, it's a very uh, fidgety zip over here. Okay, locked in. There we go. So it's got a very, very wide opening, a massive hood. The hood is huge. I feel like I'm, I don't know, like some kind of assassin or something. Jesus, look at this. Oh my God. Wow, I, and the pocket, oh, vertical pocket here. No pocket for the right hand side besides this zipped one here. So there's a zip pocket on this side. This feels weird, right? A vertical pocket here, but a zipped one on the side. <laughs> <laughs> but wow, look at the color. This feels so weighted, but I love it. Oh my God, this is a sick piece. Holy, I'm gonna try the hood. I'm gonna get down on my knees just so you guys can see my head there. How we doing? How we doing? Let's see it. How? Jesus. Oh my God, wow. Wow, look at that. And it, yeah. Okay, guys. Believe them. Believe them when they say this is a long piece. This is a long piece. But I really love it's just like its unique blend of a hoodie and a kimono together. It just, it works. The colors are really nice. I feel like Sith Lord, man. Look at this. 
I feel like Obi-Wan Kenobi in the first Star Wars film. And by first, I mean the first when it chronologically released, like episode four. But like, you know, like this is this is huge. This is this is crazy. And it like it works with the turtleneck. I've simply just got a Uniqlo uh, Merino wool one on. Nothing like high end or crazy. But man, look at this. And look at that hood. That hood is massive. Like, like how far can I? Oh my god. I'm actually a Sith Lord now. <laughs> this, look, look at this. This is just... This is crazy. What? Damn. Okay. Okay. I was skeptical on the sizing. And unfortunately, uh, Frame does not have the measurements listed on their store. So I couldn't get a super accurate idea on how it was going to fit. I went with a size 5 because all my other uh, undercover pieces are a size 5 and I thought better play it safe and go with the size that I always know. But this is, yeah, this is massive. Um, I, I, the same thing happened when I bought the trench coat. Um, it was huge. It was absolutely huge. But yeah, oh my god, I love like, the fit of this. Like, whoo! I love it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand up again one more time just to like showcase it again to you guys. So yeah. Here it is. I'll turn around as well. Wow. I literally feel like I'm either a Sith Lord or an assassin right now. This is crazy. <laughs> it, 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 no, but it like fits exactly how I want it. Like, wow. I wish I kind of wish there was another zip up pocket like here. So I could just like come in on the sides, you know, like I, I, I can't get used to that. That, I mean, this just looks weird. Coming in like horizontally, then coming in vertically, it doesn't really work. But wow, look at this! This is sick. This wow, it's such an awesome take on like combining a kimono with a hoodie. I love it. I I, I absolutely love it. This is so crazy. Wow. Okay, enough of this. I've showcased it on body. You guys all know how it looks now. It has this awesome little zip off to the side, and then it opens up like that. Um, it does also have, as you can see here, a button and God, yeah, there it is. There it is there. So there is an extra tag to like, I guess, where is it again? Yeah. To like clip it, but like, I'm a little bit large. I think we're just going to leave it to the zip. <laughs> so yeah. Oh my God. I'll zip it up again. Jesus. I mean, let me know how you guys feel about this. I think this is a super sick piece. I've never seen something like it. I love the coloring. I love the silhouette. It just fits. It's so unique, and but it's so much fun. But at the same time, it doesn't look super wacky and super, I don't know, Assassin's Creed-y. Like, it still works as a really fashionable piece. I, I, I love it. Okay, I'm going to go get my trench coat from the same season, and we'll have a look how it looks together. Okay, so I have the trench coat from the same season, which I've obviously unboxed on the channel as well. We've got the black merino turtleneck, Uniqlo. We've got the amazing burgundy kimono hoodie that I've just chucked on. Let's put on the trench coat and see how it all looks together. Oh my god, this is, it feels like, I'm, it's November right now in Australia. It is quite warm down here. <laughs> so having all these layers on, isn't exactly helping me out for the for, for this uh, current season because it is quite warm. Okay, I might have to do the hood over the top because uh, oh my god, yeah, wow, okay, wow, <laughs> look at this, look at this. Who would have thought the fall winter 2020 hoodie works with the fall winter 2020 trench coat? <laughs> Damn. Okay. Okay. The, uh, let's see how that, <laughs> I love, I mean, the hood is so big, it's like borderline Sith Lord, man, like, it's just, it's just crazy, like, this is absolutely wild, but the colors, the fit, it, I wish I could showcase it to you better, I wish I had, like, a camera set up that was like in a massive empty room and I could really just like showcase you this outfit. I might have to post that on my IG. Like I will definitely be doing, oh my God, look at that. And it works so, oh my God. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm grabbing my chair. I'm grabbing my chair. I'm sitting down. I'm sitting down. Oh, oh, look at like it just perfectly comes over the hoodie, and then the hoodie. It's just like, oh, it all works so well. Oh my god, I'm, I'm just gonna wear this. Whenever it's winter, whenever it's cold, this is exactly what I'm wearing. I'm going black turtleneck. I'm going kimono hoodie. And I'm going this trench coat. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> I'm, st I'm, I'm speechless. I'm so this just works. Wow. I don't even know what to say. It is perfect. It's exactly how I envisioned it. I was like, you know what? Maybe it's not going to work too well. It works. This is a fit. I am definitely going to be wearing this in the winter seasons. Oh my god, I love this hoodie so much. So, so much. I, I, the burgundy color was the color I needed. Like, I thought, oh, maybe the black will look better. Like, black, black. And then with this being, like, the colorful piece over the top, like, the trench coat. Nah. This is a whole ass vibe. I love it. Oh, my God. I'm going to stand up once again and, like, give it a shot. I'm going to move the chair back over. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Like, it's just works wow wow like the openings ah oh, i can't get over it i can't get over it okay guys i need to stop i need to stop how do you feel about it does it work well with the trench coat from the same season i think it is perfect june had to have designed it with that in mind because look the v on the trench coat when it's done up works perfectly with the v opening of the kimono hood and then just having it like this oh my god i feel like i'm an assassin or like in a samurai right now it is so sick but it looks so tasteful at the same time like it's not too i guess assassiny but it just works like it is a fit <laughs> i love it okay guys let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on the undercover kimono hoodie I think it's amazing and I, it, it just works so seamlessly with the trench coat from the same season. It is amazing. Well, let me know your thoughts and opinions on it down in that comment section below. And I'm back guys. And I've calmed down a little bit because I totally geeked out about that. <laughs> well, yeah, guys, I'm in love. I love it. It's wow. I, I look, I bought it and I was like, the fit's going to look clean. I'm going to like it. It's going to be cool. It was way cooler than I thought it was. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I, wow. Can we just skip to winter now in Australia? I really want to wear this now. Uh, I'm like, I don't, I'm like, uh, I, I can't even English. I can't even English right now. I, I like, I had this whole outfit planned in my head with this amazing piece. Like I was like, look, I'm going to wear the Uniqlo turtleneck. I'm going to put on this kimono hoodie and it's going to kind of look cool by itself. And then when I put on the trench coat, the trench coat's going to make it look a little bit better. But it, it exceeded my expectations when I got it. How do I feel about the actual individual piece by itself? The cotton fleece on the inside is awesome. This really dense, uh, rigid cotton for the exterior feels really, really nice. It's like I'm wearing a Supreme hoodie on steroids, if I had to describe it. Um, the piece came in perfect condition from frame, so I would definitely recommend picking up from frame in the future. Uh, I, they, 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 were, they were the only boutique that actually st still had this piece in stock. All the other boutiques that had this piece sold out. But, wow, I can barely put sentences together to tell you how excited I am that I have this piece. How awesome this piece is, uh, quality wise, and I feel like it's unique enough to work by itself and it doesn't rely on that trench coat to work by itself because i feel like this piece works really well just like this i like it is awesome the way it just sits on body i love its baggy oversized fit which seems to be in like a reoccurring trend for that fall winter 2020 season because the um marcus akeeson hoodie that i was wearing at the start of the video that's not super oversized it's pretty fitted to be honest for a size five uh, and so is the other Marcus Akeeson hoodie that I've got and all the undercover pieces from like their 2019 seasons I've got are pretty fitted. But the 2024 winter season, it feels pretty loose. It feels a lot uh, looser fitting in general 
from that season and I love it. It just works so much better for me because I'm obviously like I'm I'm 6'5, I'm like 115 kilos. I'm a big fella. There's probably not too many Japanese fellas out there that have those same measurements. So to have a season that just works really really well for me that I really really love it I don't know it's just special it feels really special uh, I'm definitely going to be going for other hoodies and other pieces from this fall winter 2020 season because I love this season this season is awesome it's just really hard to find size fives in a lot of the pieces that released in that season because like yeah it is the size that a lot of westerners go for because they either want it oversized or they want it just to fit like I do I can understand that, but yeah, how do I feel about this piece? I love it. How do I feel about frame? Definitely going to be picking up from them again. Yeah, I, I would love to know how you feel about Undercover that season in general uh, down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want to keep picking up further Undercover pieces and uh, keep reviewing other boutiques that I pick up from, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video a comment in that comment section down below and of course the best indicator you can give me is a subscribe to the channel uh, i'm trying to aim for the next subscriber milestone of 3160 subs before the end of november uh, hopefully with your guys continuous support we can reach that milestone before the end of the month but that's all i really have to say guys about the kimono hoodie uh, from undercovers fall winter 2020 season i love it i'm gonna be wearing it uh, a lot like it's it's just so breathable as well because it's so open like if i get hot in the summer season that i'm about to come into i can literally just open it up and it's like it's so loose that it's not gonna feel super tight on me and super weight like it is a weighted piece but I don't think it's going to cause me to feel really sweaty and really gross in this upcoming season. So I think it'll work like all year round. It's just such an awesome piece. Uh, yeah, that's really all I have to say about it. Who, who would have thought? Jun Takahashi coming in and nailing it once again. Like, of course. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's all I really have to say about the piece, guys. So until the next unboxing video, until the next Streetwear Talk video, until the next Undercover video, I'll catch you later.